see what I have in the mail today. I hope you know what's in the box already. Given that you looked at the title of the video and decided to click it. A few days back, I unboxed the HP Envy 13, the traditional laptop version of the same device. Do check that out if you have not watched already. This laptop uses AMD Ryzen chip which is considered value for money and was not always associated to premium laptops. Now that we have the Ryzen 7 processor in this affordable premium laptop, it will be interesting to find what it can offer. Come on, let's get started. Based on the information on the internet, it looks like AMD Ryzen chips are outperforming Intel chips on many occasions. The box is fairly simple, similar to the one that came with HP Envy 13. Slowly yet steadily, AMD has been racing up by providing more cores and better performance with minimal power consumption. This laptop is equipped with AMD Ryzen 7 which is an octa-core processor and I have high hopes for it. The laptop is here and I am really excited to use this laptop as it has this 360 degree hinge. Unlike the traditional laptop, this can be used in different forms. HP has been generous to bundle this laptop with a USB Type-C to HDMI adapter. Yet, HP has not been generous enough to stick a stylus with this package. Even a basic stylus would have added value to this bundle which is already considered extremely valuable. You get the charging brick and it is quite handy. You can get this laptop charged from 0 to 50% in 30 minutes. It is always a pleasure to remove the plastic wrapper. The sense of excitement that gets built up is immense and this is no exception. HP calls this color Nightfall Black. It looks like a matte black and the aluminium body is nice to the touch. The laptop feels extremely premium for the price it demands. I don't think there is any other laptop in this price bracket that balances build quality and performance. On the side, there is a USB Type-C port which can be used to connect to external display. A USB Type-A port and a 3.5 headphone mic port. On the other side, there is a micro SD card slot, another USB Type-A port and the charging port. There is the NV branding on the laptop which looks simple and elegant. I'm sure this laptop cannot be opened with one hand. Yet I'll give it a try just to be completely sure. No, this laptop doesn't do it and you need to use two hands to open it. The laptop looks stunning and HP has managed to cramp a full sized keyboard in this compact design. The keys look nicely spaced and I hope they feel good during typing. There is a handy fingerprint reader and it is neatly integrated into the keyboard. There is a button to engage the physical shutter for the camera and this would give a sense of security. The screen is full HD and has this edge to edge glass. The viewing angles were very bad with HP NV13 and I will check and let you know in the full review if this laptop suffers the same fate as well. So definitely get subscribed and hit the notification bell 
that way you get notified once the review is posted. The touchpad is definitely not glass and has a matte finish. This laptop comes equipped with AMD Ryzen 7 octa-core processor. Theoretically, this should provide better performance given the higher core count. I'll be performing video export test to check if this processor comes handy and compare the same with HP NV13 that came with Intel i7 processor. This laptop has the integrated AMD Radeon graphics card and hope it serves well during gaming. I will compare it with Nvidia GeForce MX350 graphic card that is on the HP NV13. This should be a good test to see the difference between these in real life scenario. Let us look at the speciality of this laptop. The screen can be rotated all the way back to convert this laptop into a tablet. The hinge has good amount of resistance to keep the screen in different angles. This laptop can be propped in different forms. I'm not sure if every single form is useful though. The down firing speakers point up in this position so should provide a good audio experience and should definitely be compared with the HP NV13 in the full review. I guess these small rubber feet are to keep the keyboard safe when they rest on any surface. So this is the unboxing and initial impression of the 2020 HP NV X360 laptop. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and definitely get subscribed as the full review of this laptop is coming soon. Cheers.